These scientists have made a discovery that could help farmers cope with the challenges of climate change by isolating one of the sunflower's 50,000 genes and transplanting it into other crops. Dr. Chan and her team have made those plants resistant to drought and soil salinity and also more productive. What I always explain is that these plants aren't going to grow in the desert. Plants need water, but what they can do is survive for a longer period without water. Argentina is one of the world's agricultural powerhouses, and the discovery is welcome news to its farmers who have faced drought this year. The drought has taken its toll on the size of the beans. They're smaller and scrawnier, and overall we've harvested fewer kilos. But if we managed to incorporate this new development, we would have far bigger beans like before, and that would, of course, hugely increase the value and our yield. The transgenic process works on wheat and corn, but most importantly on soy, the biggest cash crop in Argentina, a major exporter of byproducts like soybean oil and flour. Backers say the boost in productivity could mean as much as $10 billion in added profits each year. I'm convinced that giving farmers the security that comes with a drought-resistant plant and allowing them to work with land that is less fertile will lead to an expansion of the total area of cultivated land. That expansion is just what environmentalists and social activists fear. No one lives in the countryside anymore. Nobody. Why? Because soy crops require very little labor, but also because of the huge amount of chemicals used, which forces people to leave. The transgenic HAHB4 seeds are expected to come onto the market in 2015. Argentina's farmers are already buying up land in anticipation.